this function might be able to get you guys a ton of favorites on your game. And I say you might be able to because they are not 100% sure to favorite your game. But if they are interested and enjoy your game enough, they may favorite your game as they are playing. So if you couldn't tell already, what this function allows us to do is favorite a game while we are playing it. So as you can see here, it says, do you want to add test game to your favorites? We can decline this or we can favorite it just like this. So how this actually works is by having a game opened up in Roblox Studio that is published to the website because we can't favorite a game that's obviously not published. So you guys want to publish your game to the platform. See here, I just have a simple test game as I call it. And the next thing we need to do is insert a local script into your game because we can only prompt the player using a local script. And the function we are talking about has to deal with avatar editor service. So let me get that real quick. And then we use the function avatar editor service prompt set favorite. So let's go into how this actually works. The first thing we need to put in is an item number. Now that's kind of weird, right? Because this is only supposed to be for games. So why do we need to put an item number? Well, that's kind of weird. Let's look at the second one. There is an item type. You know, that's even weirder because it's dealing with item types like avatar items. And the third one is should favor. So I'll get into all these in a second. And this function you can use to favor avatar items, but we could also use it to favorite games. So not only can you use this function already as it's intended to favor avatar items, we can also weirdly do it with games. Back again to the first thing, it says item ID. This is just the place ID. So we have to use the place ID, but not the game ID, also known as you know the universe ID. So one of the ways you can get the game ID is by going up to the view tab, going to asset manager, clicking on places and here we have our test game we're going to right click and click copy id to clipboard and put that in for the first thing or you could also go to the website open up your creations and go to the url and copy what's there so now we have our place id we then need the second thing which is the item type and you you can see that it says enum the avatar item type and this actually matters because when we type in enum.avataritemType, there is asset and there's also bundle referring to, you know, just a singular avatar asset or a bundle. But for whatever reason, using asset will make this work, but changing this to bundle will make it error. So in here, we're going to put in enum.avataritemType.asset. And then the third thing is should favorite. And this is a boolean, which means it is a true or false value. And by putting in true here, that means we want to add it to our favorites. But by putting false, that means we want to remove it. So when we prompt the player setting true, setting this to true, that means we are prompting the player to add the game to their favorites. But if we put in false, we are prompting them to remove the game from their favorites. So now this is basically the whole function done. We're just going to make it so when we join the game, it appears on our screen. So I'm going to get the player service and then get our local player. Players dot local player. And then we're going to copy this line and save it for later. We're going to say local player dot character added colon connect function. You guys can get a character model here, but we really don't need it. And then copy the line of code in here. So now joining our game, you can see we got the same prompt. And mind you, back in the script, I set the last thing, which is should favorite. I set it to false. So it says, do you want to remove the game from our favorites? If we were to stop this and put in true, then it would prompt us to add it to our favorites just like you see here do you want to add a test game to favorites 
and then clicking yes, it'll obviously add it to your favorites and we can even see that on the website if you were to check it. The thing about this code though is we are prompting the player to favor our game upon joining. And we don't really want to do that because when the player joins, if they've never played your game before, they're not likely to favor your game because they literally just joined. They've never even seen your game before. So what we're going to do next is make it so that it prompts us to favor the game after a certain amount of time. So adding to our variables list, we are going to get run service because we're going to use run service to make sure it is very accurate in our timing. And we're going to get some setting variables like the duration until it prompts us to favorite the game. We're going to just set this to 10 for right now, just for testing. And then we're going to get a e time variable. And we're going to set that to zero. E time stands for elapsed time. So that it, this is how we are going to keep track of the amount of time that's been going on. And then we're going to get a run service event connection variable. So we'll basically set this variable to a run service connection. So then going on and ignoring this line or this block of code I have here, we're going to set the run service event equal to run service dot render stepped call connect function. And then we're going to get delta time. And then we're going to set E time plus equals delta time. Or you can also see this as E time equals E time plus delta time. So we're adding delta time to our elapsed time. And then just to visualize it, I'm going to print our current E time during this certain frame. And then we're going to check if our E time is greater than or equal to our duration, which means that we are ready to prompt the player to favorite the game. So then we can grab this line of code that we've been using and we can put it in there and delete everything we just had. And then when we prompt the player, we're then going to clean up everything else that we have in here. So we're going to disconnect the connection here by saying disconnect and then setting this variable back to nil. And then we're just going to set E time to nil as well. So go ahead and join your game, open up the output. We see there's time going by. We're going to open up this output and we are at seven seconds, eight seconds, nine, and it stops at 10 as we can see down here and the counter stops, everything disconnects. And then we can see on screen, it says, do we want to add test game to favorites? And if we want to, we would click yes. And then checking back on the website, we see it in our favorites. And obviously we wouldn't want to have our duration set to 10. Maybe you'd want to set it to something like five minutes or 10 minutes, you know, a good average time that the player might still be playing your game. If your game has really good retention, you could set this to five minutes or you could even go as low as maybe two minutes because, you know, people don't really stay in Roblox games that long if they are just trying it out. But if your game is super good, whole bunch of effects for the little kids to enjoy, then you could probably set your duration to five minutes, which would be 300 seconds. And then we can also get rid of the print statement we have here so we don't have that in our output. And then this is pretty much the final script done. You guys can add whatever you want to it if you guys want to add more features to it. But this is what I'm going to call done for my script. And also, if you guys are more beginners to Roblox scripting, you might not know what Delta time is. There are tons of videos going over what Delta time is and whatever else you see here that you may be confused on. But if you guys want to ask a question in the comments about the script, you guys can obviously do so and I will reply as fast as I can. But yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.